Hey guys, it's your girl Jess. I'm back at it with a new video. And today's video is just a little different. And I wanted to share with you guys a dream. A couple of dreams that I've had in the past few months. And I know a lot of people don't believe that there's a God. But I believe that there's a God. And I'm going to be sharing with you guys these beautiful dreams. And yeah guys, I hope you guys like this video with everything that's been going on with the world from people dying earthquakes fires just everything in general the bible is getting fulfilled and we are getting closer to the day that we either go to heaven or hell and honestly this is a subject that scares me a lot it scares my soul because I'm not a perfect person. I've done sins in the world. And I know there's consequences to everybody's actions. My actions. And I hope you guys get this message. And yeah, we're going to get this video started. So the day that I met God. And felt that he was there for me. And that there was someone because I never understood how they, there could be a God and you not being able to see the person physically. It's kind of hard to believe that there's someone or that there's something after this life. But since I was little, I've always been very gifted. Um, since I could remember five years old, I used to dream scary, scary stuff about the devil, hell. And I remember it took years for me to get over a phrase that I would only dream bad stuff. And I was a little girl and I used to always question myself, like, why am I dreaming like this? I was so little and I couldn't sleep at night. I was scared. I had, I don't know if you call it insomnia. I was just frightened to go to sleep because I knew that if I were to go to sleep, I was going to dream scary stuff. And I used to always share my dreams with my cousins, my sisters, my mom. But one day it kind of stopped when I had somebody pray over me. Those dreams kind of stopped. But they, I still get bad dreams here and there about the devil, demons, and all that bad stuff. But I met God a couple years ago. Met him about four years ago. And I could remember clearly this day I was at my apartment. I was 18 years old and I was going through it with my baby daddy really bad, very bad from arguing, screaming, fighting, just a very dark, dark place. And I remember I would cry out and I would say, God, or if there's someone there, I'm bigger, like I need you. And I didn't meet him right away, but I remember that one specific day I had it. I had, I had it. I, I had, I was just done. Like I wanted to give up so, so bad. And honestly, death wasn't an option because I'm just too scared to, to do anything to myself and hurt myself. But I was to a point that it was kind of like, man, I'm not going to get out of this dark place, depression, sadness. <sighs> Story short, um, I've, I'm a young mom. I had two kids by the age of 18. So it was really hard and I was just going through a lot. And this day, that night, I went to sleep and I remembered I had a dream. And I was going into this light. The light was so, so bright. It's like you're looking into the sun and you know how the light's just so bright and you just can't look at it. But this light, I could look at it. I was looking at that light and I was going in that light. But that, that moment while going towards that light, it felt like there is no time. Or if there was time, it was going by so slow. And through the process of me going into a light, I felt this feeling of love, of safeness, of confusion on 
I never thought I could feel this way. But in a way, I knew that it was God. I just knew that it was him. And he was showing me that his love is big and it feels amazing. It feels better, better than anything that you can think of. Better than getting high off weed. Better than getting drunk. Better than going out partying. Whatever you think that feels good on earth. This love... This feeling that I felt cannot compare. So that was my first experience with God. And then after that, I just kept having dreams after dreams. And I remember my second, it was a, it was a vision that I had. And it was a day prior to having a miscarriage. And it's just crazy how things work. But I dreamed myself in the middle of a circle and in that circle there was giant beautiful angels with beautiful um their wings i don't know how they call them their their, their wings were big and they're little persons they have their human body and i could see five of those big angels around me and i could see me looking down on my dream i i see myself in the middle and they had their hands like this and they were looking down at me and I was a little tiny person compared to them and they were praying for me so the next day while I'm having my miscarriage I'm at the office and they tell me that you know there's no baby in there and I'm just like wow like I manifested God that night and they were praying for me I, I felt very gifted in a way that wow god loves me god is close to me he was praying for me he was preparing preparing me to what was going to happen and little do we know we're here on earth we think that god's not working in our life he's not taking care of us but he really is and sometimes i feel like i just don't deserve his love his greatness because i haven't been the best person but he's shown me his love through the years you know life's not easy i still go through it but that was the second time i experienced that wow my dreams and all that all these years that i've had dreams of the devil whatever you want to call they've been real it's real just how there's good there's bad and all this time the devil has been fighting me for my soul for my happiness and still tries to do that till this day but i'm not i'm not gonna give up i'm not gonna give up and these past months i had crazy dreams of the rapture and i believe i had three dreams of god coming back the first one was me being outside my mom's apartment and i remember i was just standing in the porch like a regular day it felt so real and i heard a big noise like you know how when there's um like i don't know how to explain it just so you guys could kind of know you know how when you guys are popping like fireworks and then at the end there's that noise that that is kind of like loud but then goes like it kind of like slowly like calms down like it kind of slowly you can't really hear it, like Pew! so that's how the noise that i heard was and i look up in the sky right and i see millions 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 of angels flying down towards like the earth like just like all, all these are angels are just flying Pew! down to earth and i'm just like freaking out I didn't know what it was, you know. My other dream that I had was I was outside my grandma's house. And we were barbecuing. We like to do carne asadas. So we were doing carne asadas. And I remember I was next to one of my aunts. And I knew that my husband and my kids, I knew they were somewhere there. But through that dream, I, I, I didn't share no... Um, interaction or, or I wasn't really with them but in my mind I knew that they were somewhere around there and I could see my grandma and everybody just having family time like a normal normal day 
and next thing you know i hear somebody say oh jesus here he comes and then i was like what and i look up in the sky and then i see jesus on a horse he was wearing a red robe with long hair maybe like up to here and then you could you know while he was riding his horse you could see the hair you know falling back on him and I wasn't scared of seeing him. I was more scared of, oh, oh, it's real. It's getting real now. And behind him, he had his angel on his horses. So he's in the front. And then you could see like the, the, the other angels in the back of him on the horses riding. And God's in the middle. And in my mind, I'm just like, it, it, it's real now. It's either I'm going to heaven or hell and I was saying that in my mind and I looked to my sides and I could see everybody praying my grandma I could hear people voices just saying his name Jesus I could just hear prayers and then since God's getting close to us I don't know everybody was putting their hands up I put my hands up next thing you know I feel a grip pulling me up an angel didn't grab me it was God that grabbed my hand and I was getting uplifted to the air. And you don't know how amazing it felt to know that I was going to spend the rest of my life in heaven. It felt so amazing. I honestly thought it was real. Because it felt so, so real. And while he's pulling me up in the sky, I have my clothes, my eyes closed. And all I could think was, what about my kids, my husband? And then something in my mind said, no, if he took me, he took them. So in my mind, I knew that I was going to wake up in heaven already. Like he pulled me up. It only took three seconds. I thought of what I said of, oh, what about my kids? I thought that in my mind. And right when I knew that I was going to open my eyes in heaven, like I knew it so bad. Like I was excited. I just knew it so in my soul that I, I'm waking up in heaven. Like there is no way that this was not real once i open my eyes i wake up to earth to real life and i just freak out start bawling out start crying and i'm just like i woke up my husband and i told him oh my god i just had this dream i think it was like around 3 30 in the morning and i tell him my dream and he's just like oh my god that's crazy and, and the craziest part is that for the longest i've been feeling like guilty about the things that i've done in life and i've been feeling like wow like what if what if i'm not going to heaven but i know god loves us a lot and he did die on the cross for us and he paid the price for us all you have to do is ask for forgiveness believe that jesus is lord and savior and you'll get saved and i've always been battling with myself on will i go to heaven because I want to know for sure that I'm going to heaven. It's just like a fear that I have in my soul. And I think about death every day. And, and I felt like God answered me through that dream. And my husband tells me, you should feel secure that he gave you that dream that you are going with him. But things in life, the devil lies. And he tries to lie to me every day. Because we are living in hell already, guys. So he tries to tell me every day that I'm not, that I'm not worthy. But God is good. He's amazing. He forgives. He loves us. It's just like you guys with your children. Because uh, they do something bad. You stop loving them or you hate them. No, God forgives. With that being said, God is coming soon. Could be today, tomorrow, years from now. We don't know. Just get right with God. I know that I have to get closer to him. Share my dreams. Share the little bit of knowledge that I know of him. Have my kids know who he is. Learn about him. Because life is real. We are here one day. Work on the next day. And our souls, I believe that they're immortal. That they do go somewhere, heaven, hell, 
and I want to be in heaven with all my family that I love, my friends. And I want that for you guys too. I just want to say God is beautiful. He's watching us. He's given me a lot of dreams. And I really never shared them just because of times that I have. I've been let down or talked down on. But then I had some good experiences where there is people that tell me that they could relate to me. And it makes me feel very good. It makes me feel like I'm doing God's plan on this earth. When you share a little bit of God to somebody or when you invite them to God. Tell them, hey, let's, let's go to church together. Or remind them, hey, God is here for you. Even though you get caught up on life and you just forget the real meaning of life. Sometimes when you remind them the real thing in life, that there's a God, that we should focus on him more than all the other, our debts, drama, things that don't matter at the end of the day, makes me feel good. So I just hope you guys get close to God and I'll see you guys. The new life, new earth new heaven wherever god is going to place us in i wish to see you guys all there god bless you and i hope you guys are all good